Hello there, Earth Signs. I hope you are doing wonderful. Thank you for joining me for another group session. So if you're Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, these messages will be for you. Now friends, if you haven't been to one of my group sessions before, just understand not all messages are gonna resonate and that is totally cool. If you need a private session, now is a fantastic time because I'm having my fall special, which means all readings are 20% off until October 23rd. Now, that doesn't mean you have to have your session prior to October 23rd. All it means is you have to have it booked prior to October 23rd. And as well, if you like these messages, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so I can continue to do readings for all of you. So friends, it's been a little heavy hitting out there for a lot of people. There's been some density and some negativity. So I thought what better time than to ask for messages directly from the light for you. So we are going to pull one card to look at your overall energies. And then of course, we're gonna get into the details. So earth signs, earth signs, messages from the light. Messages from the light for our earth signs, please. Earth signs, what do we need to know in our best good? Messages from the light for our earth signs here. Oh my God, earth signs. Oh. Every single card has been like in total alignment. Look at this, rainbow and blessings for you, earth signs. Okay, this is telling me everything is coming up roses. This is kind of like the 10 of cups and the tarot, okay? This is you feeling like you are in control, you're feeling happy, you're feeling connected to yourself, you're in alignment and everything is coming up rainbows and sunshine. Wow, talk about messages from the light. Holy cow, earth signs, holy cow. All right, let's look at the details, okay? Details, please, wow. I can't believe that card just flipped. I can't believe it. Of course I can believe it. We're asking for messages from the light. <laughs> but it's just amazing. It is amazing how the messages come through so, so clearly. Wow, okay. Details for our earth signs, please. Details, whoa, here we go, whoa, whoa, okay, here we go, craziness already. Let me just put these all back in the deck because that was a lot of stuff to come falling out there here. All right, earth signs, please. Messages from the light, earth signs. Messages from the light here, yes, okay. All right. Yes, okay, okay, that fell out first, yes. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Earth signs. Oh, taking it home. I love it. I love it. This is beautiful. Okay. So it looks like there has been some changes in the past that kind of rocked you a little bit and left you kind of not knowing where to go, but you've kind of had to recoup yourself here and you are back in alignment. And I see some waves kind of happening here. You know how sometimes progress is two steps forward, one step behind, like you get in your groove and then you kind of trip up a bit and then you kind of pick yourself up and you move on and get caught up to where you were. This is what's happening. This is what's happening, air signs. Excuse me earth signs all right so your past energies the tower okay the tower came up earlier today the tower represents sudden and unexpected changes or dramatic things that happen things that you don't expect things that you don't anticipate and it makes you either have to take a new direction whether you want to or not usually however when the tower shows up even though there's drama and discomfort this usually also indicates big changes are coming so when old structures crumble new things will come in its place but when you're in the interim of the dust kind of settling through all of this, that's when you're not sure about your path and where things are going. So this is telling you if things have been a little heavy as of lately, hang in there because good things are coming and good things are coming. This is major arcana as well. And there's been a ton of major arcana coming out this week and you are no different earth signs. We have one, two, three, four, five major arcana, more than half of what's going on here. Sweet, okay, so you've got the tower, right? Sudden events, sudden things happening that's making you go, ooh, what's going on? But what did I say? When old structures fall, new things have to come into alignment. Right after the tower in the past, you've got the wheel, the wheel of fortune. This is telling me energies are moving and shaking around you. Even if you don't see the new things coming to you, it is happening even behind the scenes, okay? So whether this, is talking about your work, your career, this kind of stuff. I do feel that this is overall for you guys though. I feel like this is like mindset for you guys, okay? 
but this is telling me that you have already seen or gotten some ideas about different ways that you can go, different ways and different directions that might work for you. And you're open to trying new paths because the paths are opening up to you, Earth Signs. Check it out. Now, even when the wheel comes forward, we don't always see the forest through the trees right away, especially, like I said, in, in the midst of old systems crumbling, we don't always see clearly, all right? So we've got the King of Swords in reverse. So what this means is exactly that. You don't see the forest through the trees, okay? You have a hard time really envisioning and seeing the details about what this is going to look like down the road two months from now, two years from now. And so that kind of confuses you and makes you think like, should I not move forward? Should I not take some steps? I don't know. But this is telling me that it's okay to feel confused and to not have clarity at this time because we are in the midst of so much change and things don't always look clear in the midst of change. It is okay. Okay, earth signs and here's why it's okay because the very next step of what comes forward and what is in your present right now the ace of pentacles this is new ideas coming forward new opportunities coming forward you coming look look how these look similar right so new opportunities come and boom here they are right so this is telling you like I said new opportunities new chances new directions new ideas this is coming forward and saying there's opportunities and doorways for you to walk through here earth sign so take advantage of the timing I also have two of swords in reverse which is telling me that very very soon if not already the the uncertainty is going to become clear there isn't going to be confusion Look at the moon in the back, right? The moon represents not seeing clearly, all right? And swords represent your mind. So this is absolutely a card that is telling you the fog lifts, the dust starts to settle, and you start to see clearly, and you start to feel better and more alignment with where you need to go. And then as soon as your clarity comes in alignment, ace of cups. Ugh. Earth signs, this is beautiful. This is you getting what you want. This is you feeling like your heart is overflowing with love and joy and gratitude and you living your best life and feeling like you're living your best life because that's exactly what we want. It's great to have everything you ever wanted, but if you don't feel good, right? then what's the point? There's tons of rich people that are miserable and there's tons of people who don't have a lot of uh, tangible, but they are super, super happy with what they have. And this is telling me that what is coming your way, you are going to feel so happy with, so overjoyed with, and you're going to, your cup is going to run it over. Ooh, earth signs, okay? Now, your future is freaking fantastic as well, all right? And all of your future is major arcana, which means even better things are coming your way. Earth signs, first of all, the hermit. So the hermit is about taking calm time to yourself, going inwards, not looking for external validation of the steps that you need to take. This is about you connecting to yourself. What is right for you? What is in alignment for you? Not what this person says is right for you. Not what these people are all doing. This tells me you connect to yourself and what is right for you. The star is inside of his lantern, which is your connection to the stars, your connection, your connection to to source, to collective consciousness, to what is right for you, to your divine purpose and what makes you happy. You are coming into alignment and you are doing the work yourself by going inwards and connecting. This is wonderful. And just like the two of swords was in reverse, check it out, the moon in reverse in the future as well. Again, any other things that are unclear, anything that you've been uncertain about, you turn that over and it all becomes clear. You shed light on the things that are either not working for you or the things Things that you want to leave behind and you do so post haste because you know it's not good for you and you're not wasting your time with it anymore earth signs and check it out as well the devil in reverse this tells me you beat the devil okay and I'm not talking the devil's after you or you're the devil it's not the message at all devil <coughs> excuse me the devil represents being tied and bound to either situations people belief systems that don't work for you okay doing things and making decisions out of fear that I have to do this or it won't work out or I have to do this or someone will be mad at me or I can't do it this way because it, it'll never work. People are telling me that and it didn't work for this person or this person. This is fear, okay? This is you overturning your fear, connecting to what you know is right for you anyways and therefore getting over your old hangups, getting over your old patterns, your old addictions, your old belief systems, whatever that is for you and you trashing that stuff and moving forward to your own own blessings earth signs holy cow this is beautiful you are absolutely coming into your power 
Wow, okay, earth signs. Let's get one more message from your angels and ancestors. Oh, I feel so wonderful giving these messages. These are absolutely divine messages directly from the light. You can't deny it, just based on the overall feeling and messages of these cards coming out. Okay, messages from our angels and ancestors for earth signs, please. Earth signs, messages from our angels and ancestors. Can I have a jumper? A jumper for our earth signs? Earth signs, please. What are we, oh, there it is. Yes. Traveler, move in a new direction. Earth signs. And this lady is foot to ground, right? So this means connecting with yourself, connecting with source, connecting with Mother Earth, connecting to what is right for you and not being afraid to explore, not being afraid to try a new direction, okay? And what it says down here literally is move in a new direction, right? The wheel after the tower. Old things change, new things come forward. And if you grab hold of this and you work with it, having faith and staying connected to yourself and staying in alignment with the light, you were gonna get everything you wanted. You're gonna see some new things. You're gonna expand your horizons and you're gonna bring joy and beauty to you. Earth signs, this is wonderful. I hope you enjoyed this reading and that the messages resonated for you, Earth Signs. If these messages helped you, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And again, if you need a private session, check me out at my website, kellyfergusonreadings.com, where all readings are 20% off until October 23rd. Take advantage now, friends. And join me next week for your next reading. Thank you so much.